Hi everyone, it's Mick and I just have to say, you look fabulous today. This video is titled, My First Oil Painting Class. What the heck was I thinking? If you're interested in what it was like for me attending my first oil painting class, which was different from the very first painting class that I attended, it was um, very different. Um, it was more about, the oil painting class was more about materials and things I didn't know about the lingo and what was on that list and how I interpreted things. So I just want to save you the trouble. Uh, if you're ever gonna attend an oil painting class, what the things look like and what you should look for, okay? This is my face in my first oil painting classes. I didn't know what the heck palette I should bring and I brought the wrong one. The teacher said, what the heck is this? It was the one for watercolors. So anyways, I'm gonna save you the trouble and go through the materials and show you what you need so you don't have to have this type of face when you get to your first oil painting class. I didn't know why I need to bring a pizza box or what a palette knife looks like. So here goes. This is what you need, something to paint on, a canvas or a board, paints, of course, brushes. Quick tip, bring a jam jar for your brushes so they won't roll away. Check it out. You put the brushes in, nifty, huh? You also need to mix your paint on something and that is the palette. Here's a paper palette. When you're done with it, with all the paints on top, you can just rip it off and then put it in trash if you don't want to um, spend a lot of time cleaning it. And now for the palette knife. This is a thing that you use to mix your oil paints on the palette. Look at the angle, that's what you need. They come in different sizes, so this is a bigger one. That's okay as well. This is also a palette knife, and you'll find it in the palette section, but look how flat that is. You don't want that. So you got your palette and your palette knives, a roll of paper towels so you can clean up your brushes. They'll tell you to get turpenoid. It's a paint cleaner, but I'm trying to stay away from those. If you do use a paint thinner, you'll need a jar to pour it in. This is also an option. It's a brush cleaner, and it's basically soap. I use that. And you'll need a box. Your painting will be wet because it's oil, so you want to protect it and put your masterpiece in it when you go home. And there you have it. You can put your paints in a little Ziploc bag and you're good to go. Now it's your turn. Make a list of the things you would need for a painting class, since you know all the materials now. Okay, good luck and remember, embrace your pace. See you in the next video.